Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. My name's Matt. And in this video, we're going to go over the side chaining feature in the virtual SSL mixer that comes into Reason. And right up here in the dynamic section, you'll see the key switch. And it is the switch that turns on or off the side chain feature. If one thing you need to understand is this switch, because it just turns it on or off, will do nothing unless you have something hooked into the side chain inputs here of a mixer or audio channel. So if you press it, nothing happens. It just nothing. So what is side chaining? Simply put, side chaining is an audio source that triggers the gate or compressor. It turns it off or turns it on. That's that's all it is. It's that simple. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the hi-hat of a drum kit to affect a synthesizer part. It will, I'll be affecting the bass synthesizer part here. And I'm going to do a bunch of different videos on side chaining and showing you all the tons of different ways you can use side chaining. And uh, it's going to be fun and hopefully help you out. So remember, an audio source that triggers the gate or compressor. So my audio source is going to be the closed hi-hat on my drum kit. So I'm going to open it up and I need to go to the insert effects section of the, the mixer channel or audio channel. And I need to send that signal. This is my source material and I want to affect the gate. And the gate is in the dynamic section and I hook it into the side chain input. And you'll see that the key switch lights up. And if we go back here, you'll see the key switch lit up here. And now if I turn it off, I click on it, it's off or it's on. Off or on. And then I can use this, you know, I can use automation on this to turn it on or off. And I'm going to do that because it's, it's really cool. So what I want to do is I want to affect this synth part right here. I want to affect it right here. So let's listen to it without the, the effect. So what I want to do is affect this part right here. So I'm going to do, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to turn on uh, the key fe feature here and we'll listen to this. I've got some automation here. It goes off and on. So I just want to affect this part right here. So now listen. So what's happening here is my hi-hat is affecting the gate in perfect time. It, you know, the gate is operating in perfect time with my hi-hat, which is super cool. And it, if you've watched the, the gate dynamics video uh, that I have out there, uh, I go over exactly how a gate works. And when these lights are on, the gate is closing. So. If we put our range all the way back, listen. When I bring it up, it starts to close. And it's, it's, it's closing at the tempo of the source material, which is my hi-hat, and I'm sending it into the side chain, which is so cool. And so I can go here with the threshold and, and I can really tweak this with the gate. And uh, that's, that's how simple it is to use side chaining uh, 
in the mixer. And it's just one way you can use side chaining. And I'm gonna do uh, some more videos on side chaining using different ways, because there's ducking, there's DSing, and there's a bunch of other, this would be considered like an effect, um, using the side chain as an effect. So I'm gonna do a bunch of different videos uh, covering a bunch of different ways you can use side chaining. So I hope this helps you out and, and gives you a better understanding of side chaining. And uh, I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Take care, everybody.